Hello and welcome, today in this video we'll try to install Windows Vista on a new modern PC. Is it possible? Let's find out. We have the same PC as before. It's Intel i9-9900K, 32GB of RAM, MSZ390 motherboard and 2K LG monitor with 144Hz rate. Windows Vista was released on January 30, 2007. It was 16 years ago. I think the first thing we need to do is to try to load Vista from a USB stick. So I open Ultra ISO and burn the image. Now we need to get access to the boot menu. On MSI motherboards you need to press F11. Choose a USB stick and oh no, the error message appears. The BIOS is not fully ACPI compliant. It looks very familiar. You might seen this error during Windows XP installation on a modern PC. If you haven't watched it yet, link will be in the description. During Windows XP installation, this error can be skipped by pressing F7. Let's try this on Windows Vista. And nothing happens. Why? Because Windows Vista doesn't have this feature. You can skip a CPI check during installation. So that's all? This is the end? Of course not. We can ask for help on Windows forums, which I did on WinRate forum. Honestly, my first try to run Windows Vista was two years ago. Here you can see my message and I got the answer. Firstly, I need to find a hex editor, which I found, of course. It's easy to use and we don't have any problems with that. Secondly, I need to find this version of Windows Vista, updated up to March 2018. Then I need to mount boot.vim, install.vim via DISM, modify cpi.sys and save the changes. But there is a problem, it's impossible to find this version of Windows Vista. I have searched the whole internet, but I couldn't find it. And I got an idea. What if we take the most common Windows Vista ISO, install it on another PC and update it to March 2018, then replace the SSD to a modern computer and try to boot. It will be perfect to use my second PC for this. It has Intel 7 3770K, it's a previous Intel generation which has no problems with Windows Vista. So let's install it. The installation was completed successfully. Now we need to turn on Windows Update. Go to Control Panel, Windows Update, click Check the Updates and another error message appears. It happens because Windows Vista support ended April 2016, but there is a solution. We can fix it by installing some updates manually. First you need to turn off UEC, then install these updates, then turn on UEC back. And as you can see the update is working now. 172 updates. Oh my god, how long does it take? One day later. It took a day. Yes, a day. A day to install all these updates. Okay, but now we have another problem. We need this ACPI.sys version, but Windows Vista has only this ACPI.sys version after update. I've tried to modify this file. According to the instructions, you need to change these values and save the changes. Now I take the SSD where Windows Vista is installed and connect it to a modern PC, trying to boot and another error message appears. ACPI.sys is corrupted. It happens because we didn't check the checksum of the file. To do it you need a program called CFF Explorer. First you need to add icp.sys, then uncheck here and check update checksum. Then click rebuild. Save the file and try again. And it failed again, the same error. It means we can't use another ACPI version, we can use only this version. But why this ACPI file was not updated? The reason is Windows Update installed 2016 updates. As you can see in this message, updates after 11 April 2016 is Windows Server 2008 updates. So how we can install these updates? Yes, we can do it manually. I was lucky and found these updates even until 2023. First we need to install Windows Vista updates 2016 to 2020. Then we need to install another updates 2020 to 2023. All of them is Windows Server 2008 updates, not Vista. In total it has over 200 updates. And it took two days. Yes, two goddamn days. And now you can see Windows Vista updated to 2023. Let's check the version of ACPI. And what? It has the same version, but why? I don't get it. Ok, maybe we modify this file and then try to boot. But unfortunately nothing happens. We have the same error. And then I've got another idea. 
We have succeeded with Windows XP installation. It's working nice. What if we try update Windows XP to Windows Vista? Is it possible? Let's find out. So we installed Windows XP again. Mount the image and we have another error again. No problem. I think we can skip it. I've done this before. When I tried to install Windows 11 on an old PC. All you need is to open command prompt and type space slash no sys check. It helped me to bypass minimum system requirements. When I tried to install Windows Vista on 256 megabytes of RAM, maybe here it works too. Let's try. But no, it's not working. The same ACPI error. I did everything in my power, but unfortunately it can't run on a modern PC. Also I tried to replace ACPI file from Windows 7 but it's not working too. If you have this SCPI version, please send me a link. If I succeed, I will upload the next video. You can find my email address in the description. Thank you. There are more videos about installing Windows on my channel. If you're interested, you can check this playlist. Also, I have a second channel where I'm posting Windows tutorials. All links will be in the description. Write in the comment section, do you like Windows Vista? If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. See you later. Bye.